we currently load just the iframe with the video. So here we have this iframe and we basically say, hey, load this video, of this ID, and then display it. But there's also a different way to do this. And this uses the female player API. When you have a player, then you can set like player play. So we can use these features of the female player to stop the video and then continue after the quiz is done. Pause the video, we can even set the volume. I think we can use this player SDK and import it with npm. Dun, 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 dun. npm install this nice female player. Let's see what happens. Okay, that was easy. Import it like this. And then we have a player. We have this iframe, but instead of an iframe, we had a class with an ID, basically an empty div. And then with this player, we can load an iframe in this div. So how it works is that you can just get the element of this female div, and we can get the iframe. And if there is an iframe reloaded, there's no iframe. If it's null, then we know no video has been loaded yet. Then we can basically say we have some options and in the options you can specify this uh, female id we have some controls uh, some basic some female settings you can set the quality if you don't set it it will be auto but yeah i did notice this auto quality was a bit too low if i set it to 720 it will be a good default and people can still change it to auto later if they want then we load the player into this iframe because we don't have the video here but we have the activity video female id so we can use that to uh, to set the ID of the video which we want to load. Just do uh, a bit consistent uh, across the place. So this player is uh, coming from the female player API. Well, let's see what happens. Probably it will not work, but let it turn out quickly and then fix it and continue development. Video of mother. That's a good band, or at least a famous band. Element is not defined. Okay. So this is in the show. So that's so uh, good. We probably have to get the uh, on mount going again as well in the show and we have uh, we have it here so we can just copy paste it and just do it on mount we don't need to async this time is this wolf mother is it really oh it's the title of the song it's not the band i think it's from loop pop up so in general it's better just to make it in real time and struggle but i remember the struggle on this one so i don't really want to struggle through this again and it's just ah <laughs> We have a video. The berekening for the it's just very small. <laughs> so we had some logic here before. Probably some classes here as well that we need to set. Ah, I think it's on the iframe. So, so this iframe. Okay, yeah, this is a nice example because a uh, nice uh, yeah example on how Svelte works. Because um, you see there is an iframe here. I, I'm, I'm positive, yeah, it is an iframe. But Svelte does not detect this because we load the iframe by using this uh, player load iframe here. So that's not good. But how we can fix it, because we can fix it, is, is make a global. You can say we expect the iframe in the female video folder one day. So please, if you see it, apply then the styling to it but you have to be a bit careful about these globals because they will be specified everywhere uh, so even in, in a different component file so it's good to only apply them to certain ids and this will be unique so it will only run on this component then. and as you can see we now have this nice video working with the female player you can play it the berekening for the aantal me the default uh, quality is uh, 720. Um, you can put full screen. I think we can maybe disable this full screen. 